Rabila Gumed is live for us at the Union Buildings and he is with the Minister Ibrahim Patel, I understand. Arabila? Right, here we go. Yeah, a very good morning to you. Take it away. Yes. Yeah, well, good, uh, good morning again, Blaine. Like I said, it has been, of course, a morning of ensuring that uh, the symptomatic situation that South Africa finds itself in, everything from that infrastructure fund right through to economic development, is quite critical to the plan set forward by uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa. Economic Development Minister Ibrahim Patel joining me now. Minister, thank you so much for, for your time as well. Your role in ensuring that the plan is implemented is going to be quite critical as well. You develop uh, South Africa's economy over time and yet we've continued to struggle to do so. Now is the time to get it right. Now is the time to do so and I think what we have is we've got a good team. We've got a good uh, set of uh, ideas of what to do. And we've got the confidence now of the country that the president uh, is able to uh, get the cabinet team to unblock many of the challenges that uh, we've been there. I want to just share a few of those. Uh, tourism, for about two years, has been a lengthy reflection on how to go uh, forward. We now have made a decision. Uh, the energy mix. There's been a debate that's taken over a number of years. We've now published the energy plan. Uh, spectrum release, which is really the ability to ensure that the data-driven economy takes off, uh, that South Africans have access to fast, reliable uh, internet connection, but also that businesses can create jobs around those. Uh, for, for, for many years there was a, a delay in it. We now have a clear uh, idea of what spectrum we want to release and uh, we will be making that announcement and I can take you through many of those examples so that helps to create a, an environment in which uh, private investors see opportunity and they bring their money and they help us to grow the economy are you worried at all that the trade situation across the world is going to severely impact South Africa we're a consumption led uh, e economy do you fear that that might hurt growth even further from here on and that dent your plans uh, as, as set forward by the president well I want to start by saying that we should become more of a production driven economy instead of absorbing enormous quantities of imports from the rest of the world a big part of our effort now is to add local value to reclaim the domestic market for local producers for small businesses but also through greater beneficiation having said that it's it's no doubt there's no question about it that a global trade war is not good for economic growth that uh, the saber rattling and the the measures being taken by the u.s administration uh, is is seriously undermining long-term confidence and investors are reluctant to invest when they're not sure what the playing field will be will an investment in a plant in south africa enable that plant to export to the rest of the continent or to the United States or elsewhere but fortunately we've not seen on the African continent a replication of that we're deepening our trade uh, ties with the rest of the continent we're investing hugely through the free trade area agreement the continental free trade area to build a big robust market for South African goods it would be a market of a billion people and that gives us some degree of insurance against uh, what is happening in both in the global economy and in in u.s uh, administration policy people want results when do we then get you guys to account for exactly what has been said in this room when do we say to the ministers now you need to answer for what has happened thus far and whether it's actually worked out you know the the president has been very clear we need to move with speed so we will have three key moments in October to ensure that we're able to move rapidly ahead with this. We have a jobs summit where we bring together business, labor, uh, government and other constituents. Date for that. Uh, that date is in the first week of uh, October. Then towards the latter end of uh, October, there's the medium term budget policy statement where we take uh, Parliament and the nation into our confidence and indicate how we're going to shift money around in the state to be able to ensure that this implementation takes place. And then a day or two later, on the 26th of uh, uh, October, we have a large number of domestic and foreign investors and we put to them 
our key plans for implementation. In between these three dates, we will also be making announcements on visas, on the mining charter, on uh, measures to, to address crime. These will be all complementing the implementation. And in February next year, when the President addresses the nation in the State of the Nation address, there's an opportunity to show the impact we've had with all of these measures. So we don't have time on our hands. This can't be a plan that will take one year or two years to implement. South Africans need jobs now, and the economy needs to move out of recessionary conditions into growth. And then once it's uh, growing again, we need to increase the rate of growth. So four, four, months, four months isn't enough time, though. I mean, you consider from October till February next year when the State of the Nation address should be. Um, four months isn't enough time to implement all these plans and perhaps find the, the funding for all of it. Is that enough time for you guys to perhaps find a way to get it right? It's enough time to make a serious dent on the implementation of the plan, to be able to take key issues and actually implement. Not talk about them, yeah. but implement. The visa regime is an example. We are able to announce it. Once we announce it, the legal adjustments take place at the ports of entry, and then tourists are able to visit. Our hope is that we can catch the December holiday period for tourists. I mean, it's a fantastic time to be in South Africa. And if we can get all of the technical work done in the next uh, week or so to be able to make that announcement, you would have implementation immediately. That would be implementation sure. before SONA. Of course, the full benefit then uh, is manifested over the entire period 2019, 2020, and so on. But we, we should not wait to 2019 to make those announcements. And that is the message that Cabinet has given and that the pre President has articulated here. You will certainly be held accountable to that and hopefully we can chat to you again at the SABC regarding this and just how far we've come. Minister, truly appreciate your time this morning. Blaine, the message is clear there. That implementation is going to be significant, going to be absolutely key. We've complained about it with at least the last three plans that have come out, the new growth path, the national development plan, and even those 14 confidence boosting measures that were put out by former finance minister Malusi Kigaba. So it's going to be key now. How exactly do they implement this? As I said, four months, perhaps not enough time, but Minister Ibrahim Patel sees it differently and says it is enough time to make a dent in the implementation of the plan set out here by President Ramaphosa. Indeed, implement, uh, implementation is key. Arabila Gumed, a lot for us at the Union Buildings. We thank you very much indeed, my friend. We'll catch up with you a little later on. Now, that's a wrap.